for a second day protest against Agnipat, the radical recruitment plan for armed forces in Bihar. And today those protests have turned violent as a protest broke out in Gaya, Chhapra, Jahanabad, Nevada and Ara as well. And you can see some violence and uh, tire burning taking place. Uh, railway tracks were also uh, blocked by the protesters as army aspirants are disrupting rail and road traffic in several parts of Bihar. Uh, Baton wielding protesters even smashed glass windows of the Intercity Express train at the Bhabua Road railway station and set one coach on fire. Holding a banner saying Indian Army lovers, they raised uh, slogans rejecting the new recruitment scheme. At the railway station in Ara, police had to resort to tear gas shelling and disperse a huge crowd of protesters who even pelted stones at the police. The new recruitment uh, plan aims to cut down the government's massive salary and pension bills and free up funds for arms procurement. Uh, the new policy has drawn criticism and questions from several quarters. Critics have argued that just a four-year tenure will hit the fighting spirit in the ranks and can also make them risk averse. Also concerns about what uh, the young uh, men would do after four years of this uh, short service. So there you can see uh, the protests uh, turning uh, violent. Let's just listen in to what some of the uh, young men had to say. Today, protests also breaking out in Uttar Pradesh and in uh, Gurugram as well in Haryana. So uh, protests in several parts of the country, a second day of protests in Bihar and uh, protests today in UP and Haryana as well. so for a second day violent protest there in Bihar let's go across to Manish now for more and Manish uh, this time uh, you know blocking of trains and also setting fire to a coach and a blocking of roads as well uh, what's the latest you can share with us Yes, of course, this, uh, uh, not only the incidents of violence, but the number of protests across Bihar is, you know, uh, is going up because in comparison to yesterday, the number of district headquarters which is affected by these protests uh, uh, and where the railways are being targeted because railway seems being seen as the only institution uh, representing a central government. So most of the protesters, in fact, all the protests are on the railway track across Bihar, whether it's in the uh, North Bihar town of uh, Saharsa or whether you know, in the eastern parts like uh, Bhagwa, which is adjoining uh, no, UP. 
But uh, now the district administration across uh, Bihar, they are saying that they can do very little because all these grievances are aimed at uh, central government. They are uh, supposed to be, uh, you know, addressing those you know grievances. But right now their focus is maintaining the railway track and as well as the law and order situation in and around railway station. So there are incidents of uh, you know police lati charge also at the uh, Ara station. You have seen that you know tear gas cells were fired at protesters, but they have dispersed for now. But in the other part also there are uh, reports coming in of uh, more protests. Uh, against this central government policy of uh, induction in army just for four years. Bargi. That's right, Manish, and a lot of frustration uh, yesterday as well. Uh, you know, you'd been reporting on uh, protests. That's when it just started, but today it seems a lot bigger and more organized. Also, frustration among the youth because for the last two years, you know, the, the, the army jobs because of COVID, etc., they've they've not been recruiting, and now being offered this short stint, it, there's a lot of uh, you know insecurity and dissatisfaction. You do have some uh, chief ministers of like UP, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana. Uh, reassuring the youngsters, saying that, you know, after the four-year stint, we will give you jobs in the police or in the government. But uh, clearly, a lot more awareness and assurances need to be given at this point. Kargi, it seems that all those assurances which were given by Union Home Minister or Union Defence Minister and the Chief Minister of some BJP states like Assam, Madhya Pradesh, UP, it seems to have very little effect on those protesters because somewhere they want the whole system to be restored. And that is why, you know, like uh, uh, the protest is increasing, it is spreading like wildfire and somewhere this time the students are not in a mood to relent because if you remember there was some protest against the railway exams the month of January also but those exams are being conducted now almost after six months. So, Somewhere they are, uh, the students are not in a mood to, you know, go for any, uh, to settle for any kind of, you know, uh, assurance till the time the old system is back in practice. Karki? All right, uh, Manish, thanks so much for joining us with that. And let's just listen to more of what the protesters are uh, saying about the reason why they're so angry with this new scheme. चार साल का एनसीसी होता है ठीक है सर चार साल के दो साल तैयारी करने में लगता है सर चार साल बाद आकर हम लोग क्या करेंगे आप लोग आप ही बता दीजिए सर हमको आप लोग हमको यही बता दीजिए कि चार साल बाद आकर हम लोग क्या करेंगे सर ये टीओडी के विरुद्ध में हो रहा है सर टीओडी के विरुद्ध में हो रहा है और हम लोग का एग्जाम कल या परसों पता चला कि हम लोग का जो सी एग्जाम होने वाला था वो कैंसिल हो गया तो बताइए सर हम लोग डेढ़ साल से लड़के लोग इंतजार कर रहे थे अब हम लोग क्या करें हम बोलना चाहते हैं सर क्या सरकार जो है सरकार पाँच साल पाँच साल के लिए अच्छा लड़ रही है सरकार छः छः महीने के लिए सीट पर बैठेगी सर उनका पेंशन कैंसिल कर दिया जाएगा सर और सरकार छः महीने के लिए बैठेगी तो हम लोग भी टी टी ओ डी लेके लागू लागू हुआ है उसके लिए हम खुश हैं सरकार को भी लेकिन छः महीने के लिए बैठना पड़ेगा
All right, so a second day of protests in Bihar and now a protest in Gurugram in Haryana as well as, uh, remember Haryana is one of the places where major recruitment to the army takes place and a lot of dissatisfaction with the Agnipat scheme that was announced. Now, if we tell you about the Agnipat scheme, then about uh, 45,000 people between the ages of uh, 17 and a half to 21 years are going to be inducted into the services for a four-year tenure and this is the main a bone of contention, the main issue that uh, people are so upset that it's just a four-year tenure that they're going to have and uh, they feel that, they, that it's not enough and what are they going to do after that, though there have been assurances uh, by chief ministers as well. And in UP as well, you can see their protests breaking out in uh, Bulan Shehar and in Merat. So two places in UP so far, protests have broken out over uh, the Agnipat scheme in Unnao as well. Uh, so uh, in Unnao, in Bulan Shehar, in Merat, you have protests over the government's Agnipat scheme that was announced uh, just uh, two days ago. And you had the defense minister there and the uh, three chiefs of, uh, of, of, of uh, the army there also announcing that scheme, uh, this radical new scheme, however, that has led to a lot of criticism as well. And as you can see, a lot of protests and anger among young men who are uh, waiting for uh, army recruitments after uh, two years of COVID delay. And now to be offered this Agnipad scheme, uh, though the government has said uh, that it is uh, they've taken best practices from other countries and then uh, come to uh, and formulated this scheme to uh, help in employment. You have chief ministers also announcing assurances uh, uh, that they will give those who, Agnivirs is what they're being called, those who go through this four-year scheme, that they will be given uh, government jobs and be given priority in police jobs. But uh, for the moment, it seems a lot of outrage over a four-year scheme announced by the government. This is the Agnipat scheme for which they are going to start recruiting uh, in September. And the monthly salary will be between 30,000 and 40,000 uh, per It's a four-year scheme and after which only 25% of these soldiers are going to then be retained and will go on to serve a full 15 years in non-officer rank. So a lot of anger as you can see, a second day of protests in Bihar and uh, today in Uttar Pradesh also. Uh, protests are breaking out in several places in uh, Merat and in Unnao as well and in Haryana in Gurugram today, uh, protests are breaking out over the Agnipat scheme. Now, as we said, chief ministers of BJP rule states have tried to uh, give assurances uh, to the young men and have said... All right, let's just listen in first to uh, what protesters in UP have to say. POD, Bharat Sarkar ne jo nai hai, kanuni pranali, Indian Army, tino senao me jo lagu ki hai, iska ham virodh karte hai, ye pranali Bharat Sarkar me lagu nahi ho ni chahi hai. Bharat Sarkar ne ham se, hamar yaga... हाथ जोड़ जोड़ कर वन रैंक वन पेंशन के नाम पर वोट मांगा था और आज नो रैंक नो पेंशन का ड्रामा बनाकर हम युवाओं को बेरोजगारी में धकेल दिया है हम ये तानाशाही नहीं करेंगे 